welcome everyone to today's stretch break. Um, my name is Jazzy. I'm a health fitness specialist at St. Rafael. And today we're just going to be doing a series of stretches. Okay, so we're going to start off. Um, we're probably actually going to stay on our hands and knees the whole time. So we're going to start and end here. So let's go ahead and get into a quadruped position on our hands and knees. You want your knees directly below the hips and hands directly below the shoulders. And just real quick, we're going to go ahead and find our neutral spine. So go ahead and let your back or your hips dip forward, just like uh, the cat, and then kind of let them go forward and then back again and forward. So we're just tucking our pelvis back and forth. And then we're gonna find our neutral spine. So it's gonna be about in between there, okay? So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to start off with some quadruped rocking, okay? So we're gonna stay in this quadruped position and we're gonna rock back kind of into that child's pose without our head on the floor. And then we're gonna come back to that tabletop position. Make sure we're maintaining our neutral spine, sinking back into the hips, and then squeezing the glutes to come back forward. You should kind of feel this in your hips, helping open up those hips a little bit more. So sinking back, and then squeezing, coming up. We're gonna do five toes, so we got two more. Back, really sink into those hips if you need to kind of push the ground away from you with your hands to feel it more in your hips, feel free to do so, that helps. And one more, really sink into those hips, keeping that head and spine neutral. Awesome. So now that our hips are a little bit opened up, we're gonna go ahead and we'll start off. We're gonna take our right arm and we're gonna thread it through our little space here. And we're gonna lay our head all the way on the ground and you're going to push your hand into the ground as you pull away with your upper body. So you should feel this in your upper back, opening up that spine will definitely help if you've been sitting at your computer all day. And we're gonna hold for a few more breaths. And we shall return to our neutral tabletop. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So taking that left arm, thread it through, rest your head on the ground, push your hand into the ground and pull away with your back. Again, really feel that stretching out your back, opening everything up. And we're gonna hold for a few more breaths. Make sure we're breathing nice and deep. And then back to our tabletop. And we're gonna do that one more time each side. So thread and through with that right arm. Really feel that stretch in your upper back. And back to center. And last one, other side, threading that left hand through, really pull away with that upper body as you push into the ground. Don't forget to breathe. Let's hold that for one more breath. And we're turning back to center. All right, and then our next exercise or stretch, I should say, to help open up those hips again in that lower body. We're gonna stay in that quadruped position and we're gonna take one of our legs and we're gonna put it out to the side like a kickstand with your foot flat on the ground. And we're gonna go back into those rocks, okay? So you're gonna rock back, come back up. Rock back, really feel that stretch in your adductor, which is also known as your inner thigh. Really help opening up those hips. 
we're gonna do five. So let's go ahead and do those two more. Sinking into that back leg. Really feel that stretch. And last one, make sure we're maintaining that neutral spine here. And when we're done with the five, heading back to that other side, same thing, foot flat on the ground, straight out as we rock back, squeeze the glutes, come up. Really feel that stretching out your legs, opening up those hips. Make sure your foot is flat on the ground the whole time while we're maintaining that neutral spine. And let's go ahead and do one more. And then this time, so we're gonna go ahead and do that again each leg, but this time as we rock back, we're gonna take our the same leg arm that's um, out. You're gonna rotate the other way, opening up that spine and then rock back. So we're gonna rock back down, take your arm, rotate through, and then place it back, rock back forward. We're gonna do five of those. So back, rotating with that arm, back to that center position, back to our tabletop. So we're gonna do five. Try and reach through as far as you can as we're in that bottom position and really rotate with that spine. One more. Try and reach a little further each time. All right, and now our other side. So we're rocking back, reaching through, placing our hand back and forward. Multifaceted stretch. Again, try and reach further a little bit more each time you rock back. We're doing five again on this side. And last one. Okay, great job you guys. All right, so this next one, we're actually gonna be sitting down regularly. So our butt is on the mat and we're gonna take our arms and we're gonna place some palms down right behind us and we're just gonna kind of sit here lean back a little bit more if you need to kind of push up your hand your butt off the mat that's okay but this is gonna help us open up our chest again this is great if you've been sitting at the computer all day if you want, you can go down to your elbows if that feels better. If you get more of a stretch in your shoulders that way, feel free to do so. And we're gonna hold this here for a few breaths. With each breath, when our chest fills up, you'll feel that stretch a little bit more. We wanna make sure our pelvis is gonna be tucked still, finding that neutral spine. And if you need to pull down into the ground a little more to feel that stretch, feel free. And we're going to release that. And our last thing we're gonna do, just to kind of quiet our minds a little bit before we go back to work, we're gonna lay flat on the ground. You're gonna take one hand, put it on your chest, and the other hand put on your stomach. So mine right now, my right hand is on my chest, my left hand is on my stomach. And we're just gonna do five deep breaths. So when we breathe in, we want our bottom hand to be raised higher than our chest. So we're gonna do five deep belly breaths where we really inhale, elevating that bottom hand. So deep breath in. And exhale. Really making sure that lower hand is rising before 
the top hand. And let's go ahead and do two more. And last big deep breath, you guys. And slowly sit back up. And that will conclude today's stretch break. I hope the breathing all leaves you nice and relaxed or ready to get back to work with the rest of your day. Thank you all for coming. And I will see you all at the next stretch break. Tomorrow Thank at you. 3 p.m. Tomorrow at 3 p.m.